Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's me again. My name is Jordan T. Mystic, and I am an artist from Sydney, Australia, a mural artist, a father, a content creator, and an illustrator. So Adobe just added an animation feature to Fresco, Adobe Fresco. I haven't really delved into Fresco yet, but what better way to really sink my teeth into Adobe Fresco than to do an animation? I don't do very many animations. They do scare me a little bit because of the time that it takes to do them. However, we're here, we're doing it. I'm on my iPad. I've got my screen record running so you can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna dig in. We're gonna start with Procreate. I'm starting here, but let's get into it. As you can see, I am going to use my Hercules piece from my previous video. This piece ended up on a jacket. This piece also, you won't be able to see in that video. It actually had the hydras around it. So I wanna animate this piece. You can get merch with this on my website if you are interested. However, shameless plug, it's now been done. Let's move on. Look at my beautiful layers. We love clean layers, ladies and gentlemen, because when I export this to a PSD, to Fresco, it's all gonna look the same. It's all gonna be nice and clean and tidy. What I wanted to do though, is I've segmented each part that I wanted to animate, that they have their own place. It took me a lot longer than I think because I don't know Fresco yet. I don't understand the interface and all that sort of stuff. I have a lot of trouble with the Photoshop on the iPad to begin with. So that's just me being transparent with you. So I've separated the head and I'll show you what I want to do. All right, so what we're gonna do today, I think the priorities are, I'd like to have these snakes here sort of start in the center behind him and just curl up to where they are. We might be able to do this much simpler than you realize in Adobe Fresco. We'll get to that. The other thing I'd like to do is have some of these hydras. I'd like to have these two here sort of like point out have a little bit of a roar, that's their mouth, and then back to where they, and curl up to where they are. So we'll see how we go with that. That seems like it might be a bit difficult for me, but I could be very wrong. The reason why I'm doing this is it's all gonna be sort of symmetrical the same way the drawing's built. So I'm gonna be sort of moving one side and then just duplicating it and flipping it. This one, maybe I'll have him sort of come up here, do another roar as well. Maybe a tongue comes out, I don't know. Have him coil up kind of like the snakes too. And then with this guy, I wouldn't mind him just sort of slowly coming up this direction and then just blinking. I think blinking would be fun. But that's not him blinking, that's him blinking. And then the main things I wanted to do as well is just sort of move a lot of this in the wind. Then we're gonna have this mustache sort of do things as well and beard and the hair just wisping a little bit in the wind. As you can see, he's got a coily little bit there. Now, as you can see, we've got the file in Adobe Fresco, and we've got all of our files in our groups, all the things I do wanna work with and the things I don't wanna work with. Now what we're gonna do is we press this little button down here, the little three circles with the play, bam, we're now in animation mode. What I'm going to start off doing is see what I can do with these snakes. So I'm gonna select the right snake. We're gonna go this little settings button. So we're gonna try set up a path here. We will have it rotate. I'm gonna put the angle yeah, I want it to rotate like that. Then what I need to do is I need to have a path that goes from that point to here like this. Yeah, I want it to come up like that. That's it. Okay, thanks. So how do I get rid of that? Yes, there we go. That's a cool start. Bam. So he's going to go shooting, shaboom. All right, cool. How do I copy? Can I copy the settings? Not on a loop. Play once. Boom. Yeah. Okay, cool. Frames per second, 12. Yeah, we're going to work in 12, not 24, because... Fuck that. Onion skin frames. Oh, that looks much smoother. Oh, that's cool. You can add the frames there too. Opacity. Why wouldn't I want that all the way up? Okay. Now we're going to select this one. I wonder if I don't think I can copy the settings. That would have been nice just to copy and paste the settings. So we'll select this one and we're going to do the same thing. Now in theory, with both of these. Now let's see what happens when I say play all. Ha ha! Ooh, sexy. All right, that's exactly what we want. So let's keep moving. That's awesome that I didn't have to hand animate any of that whatsoever. So let's move on to the other stuff. This is gonna be the harder, more fiddly stuff because I do actually have to put a bit of animation into them. So next thing we're gonna do, draw those moving motiony. Let's just get into it. <laughs> He's a protector. Yeah, he won't neglect you. Uh, he's a protector. Uh, he won't forget you. Uh, he's the protector. He ain't no so a bit of time banging out the nitty gritty of all of this. And as you can see now, we've got a few more layers going on. My layers are a little bit of a mess, but 
I think we've got something to work with. Unfortunately, I didn't quite have the time to do the hair on the lion and do those hydra. However, I'm very happy with what we've got. So let's have a look at this, okay? So you see, we've got the snakes coming up out the side there. That looks badass. Yeah, and his hair's all flowing in the wind. I really like this. I'm really happy with what I've come out with. A few thoughts on Adobe Fresco's animation. Now, Adobe is very is a very complex platform. I personally prefer Procreate's version of animation, but that's just because I prefer simplified software. Now, if you are a more complicated animator, Fresco is amazing. One, you've got your vector brushes, you've got your pixel brushes, which I ended up using here. Two, it's got those extra animation elements. So if you're able to break up your artwork for an artist like this to put on your website or something, this is awesome. I'm probably gonna put this on my website at some point. I am very happy with this. Other than sort of hand drawing all that animation in for the hair, doing those snakes was so quick, it was less than 30 seconds. So why wouldn't I come back to this later and use this? I'm really excited to see what's going on in the software world and in this illustration world. As an illustrator, I'm very glad that I only spent a couple of hours doing this and I managed to get a pretty solid product. Animation, it's not my forte. However, at the same time, I'm really glad that I was able to animate this in such a short period of time. It only took me a couple of hours and now I have an animated thing that I can put on my social media. I can put it on my website, my content. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about this. Have a nice little look. I'm gonna put up right at the end before the credits, you're gonna see this final animation and how pretty and beautiful it really turned out. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really happy with this. I would suggest Adobe Fresco if you can afford it. It's well known that Adobe is reasonably expensive, but if you just want a drawing program that is Adobe related, that can be translated to your computer really easily, all that, I really highly recommend it. Now, this isn't a review video necessarily, but this is just my way of saying I'm really happy with this. So thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Jordan T mystic and as always ladies and gentlemen never forget stay weird enjoy the animation have a week and i'll see you in the next one bye he's a protector yeah he won't neglect you uh, he's a protector uh, he won't forget you he's the protector he ain't no specter He's a protector, he won't forget ya The story of a protector, the man who paints Like he's got something to prove at Olympus's gates Zeus sent him a mission he couldn't neglect A Herculean feat that the heavens could never forget This is the twelve labors, the twelve favors The twelve ways that a hero earns his position